Hi, my name is Bree Clark and I'm a software expert. And today I'm going to show you how to insert tangents in Excel. On this spreadsheet, I have a list of some different angles in degrees, 45, 60, and 90. And if you know trig, trigonometry that is, you'll know that the tangent of 45 degrees is one. Now, if I just use the tan function here, equals tan, and then select 45 and press enter, I don't get one. I get 1.619775, so that's not correct. This is because you actually have to put the angle in in radians in Excel. So I'm just going to delete this and start over. This time I'm going to type equals tan again, open my parentheses for the tangent function, but now I'm going to embed the radians function inside that. So I'll open up radians, choose that 45 degree angle, close my radians function, and close my tangent function and press enter. And now I get one. And if I grab that and use the autofill to fill down, I'll see the tangent for the other angles as well. My name is Bree Clark. I'm a software expert, and I just showed you how to insert a tangent in Excel.